Welcome to the Geek Brownie Kid Channel! Hi guys! Hi. Welcome, Welcome back to the Geek Brownie YouTube, YouTube channel! channel. Welcome and back. today we're gonna play the board games today! The one that we got from <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the... You guys already found it! There. The You're board already... game crate! So yeah, you guys already found it because of a... we unboxed it so you know what we're actually meaning! Well, Absolutely! Yeah. Right now, so what we're going to do yeah. now is we're going to do the unboxing yeah, the of unboxing. the game! So we're going to have a look at the what's inside. The unboxing is um, the box because of it when we take the lid off we already know what's inside because we already took the lid off without letting you guys see. You're only going to know anything about this probably if you watched our unboxing crate of the board game crate. <laughs> <laughs> Busted! Okay, yes, so we had a quick look in just off. to see what was yeah. going to be involved. So we're going to do that now. We'll show you what comes inside. So we'll take the it lid off. Yes! But what's under all of them is... Can you take all of it off? Well, we'll do it one at a time. First of all, so, it comes with two sets of instructions. Yep, so one in German and then one in English, which is the one that we will be following. Okay. And then what we found inside was lots of... Uh, punch out cards um, with playing pieces and boards, coins, coins etc. Oh, oh, I've got something to tell so you. Quite, quite a few of those. I've got something to tell you. It's ripped. Well, no, it's careful. not ripped, Paddy. Okay. Now, also inside, what was good to see? A There's lot nice. of. There's hold nice. on, Jacob. Jake. A lot of manufacturers are starting doing this, which is good. And that is these bags here. So. Empty bags, um, the what do you call these? The clip seal, resealable, resealable bags. Yeah. Obviously, for putting all the pieces in. Um, and we've also got a lot of coloured counters and squares. Obviously, part of the game. Um, some cards. Not sure what's in those. I don't know what um, the cards are because no. of a look. What's inside? Did you know um, that you could do? You can look inside and look. This is going to be the board game. Yeah, that's but, how we'll play, won't it? Yeah, because yeah. of it. See, there's more. See? Yep, yep. yep. All the instructions. So we'll show them. All the instructions that you you might want to look at. We will. And um, also, we've got some gems as well. I'm not gems, sure what they're going to be used for. No, those are rubies. I'm oh, yeah. sorry. They're rubies. rubies. They actually are. Actually, real rubies. Yeah. So it's really good value for money if you want to think about it, it when like you pay for the game and you they get a whole like bag iron. of rubies. I, I, they look like iron. Yes, Rebecca. I am very happy that they've st started doing this because it's healthy for our environment. No, okay. it is not. <laughs> How is it? Yeah, but, but we won't go there because we are not political. Uh, um, and also, lastly, a set of dice. <laughs> yeah. So, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to we're not going to painstakingly yeah, take yeah, all these yeah, pieces yeah, yeah, apart yeah, yeah, yeah. while people watch, Jacob. We're going to end pause now. We're going to get it all ready, set up, and then we'll come back in a little bit. Yeah. So bye. See you in a bit. Hi, Hi everybody. Nice. Welcome back to the Geek Bram YouTube channel. We set up the board for everybody of you. I don't know your name. <laughs> So, yeah, for all our really nice viewers out there, yeah, welcome back. Yeah, viewers, 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 viewers. And my With friends. Yep. And these, 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 these are the persons. Okay. We'll explain that to them as we go through again. Okay. Welcome back. Yay. Well, we finally all had to read through the rules. And like any game, it took a little bit of reading a couple of times to understand it. Yes. But we think we now got it. So the idea of the game is all about... Buying and selling. Well, it is Istanbul. Well, like at the bazaar, it is Istanbul. Bazaar. So it's all about moving around the tiles and buying different things. And the end result is the winner is the first person to actually get five rubies on his play card. Mm -hmm. So you've got to collect five rubies. And uh, from what we've seen in the rules, it's about visiting the tiles, which are different locations in the bazaar, and they offer different things. So obviously, there's the Sultan's Palace which have rubies, so you could go there and you can actually hand in the, different, the number of goods required here to gain one ruby. And as each ruby is removed, the more, the more goods are required to do so. 
So you then obviously may not start off with any goods, so you're going to have to visit one of the other places to pick up goods. Mm -hmm. But to pick up goods, you may have to pay lira, which means you have to visit another place that will give you lira for doing different things. And that's how the game starts off. So this one, the Sultan's Palace, for example, you need to hand in the appropriate number of goods, and that will allow you to take a ruby. Over on the gemstone dealer, you have to actually hand in a lot of lira to get a, a, a ruby. So 14 lira at the moment to get a ruby. Absolutely. But then I'll go up to 15. Yeah, so each time you take a ruby, it gets more difficult to take the next one, more expensive. Well, not difficult, more expensive. Um, so we all started off with um, throwing the dice to see who went first. And Carly got to go first, which meant that she got two lira. No, I did, because I got three. Oh, yeah, and then I got two. And I got one. Got one. <laughs> oh, dear. So we can't even remember who threw the highest. But so it was mum. Who threw, who threw her house. So she yeah. starts off with two lira. Um, I, I obviously then goes clockwise, which means I get three lira, and Rebecca gets four lira. Yeah. And we start off with <laughs> with um, no goods. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to start off. So um, each move consists of, a f um, of four phases. The first phase is your movement. Second phase is you sort out any encounters with other merchants, and you'll see that happen as we go along. Third phase is you then can get to carry out an action. And the fourth phase is what to do if you come across an encounter. The smuggler, the governor, or the family member. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you can move either one location or two locations at each, each, um, each turn. turn. Yeah. So each turn you can choose to move one location from here to there, or two locations, like from here to there. You cannot go diagonally. If so if I wanted to move two locations and want to get to there eventually, I couldn't like go one, two. It would cost me one, two to go there, and then maybe the next guy could go. Or one, two. Oh. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, no, All right. Okay. So over to Mum's first turn. Cool. So I am going to head to. Do I leave one? No, it's only it's when you stop. Here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So then you choose to leave one there. So I leave one there, and so I get a green good, a yellow good, and two lira. Lucky. Which is what is marked on on the thing, and then I just move this one down. So then the next person will get a red good, a yellow good, and two lira. So is it just the 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 full left hand one you move down? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Well, that's what I said in. Right. Now, also, um, the, it's my turn now, but I've got to think about it, because I could actually follow Carly round to that place, and I could then gain one red good, mm -hmm. one yellow good, and two lira, but I would then have to pay you money for landing on your square. Yeah, because the merchant's there, so, and I'm the merchant. So you, it's not just it's my It's the assistant. other player, it's the merchant. Yeah. So I would, probably won't want to go there. Um, so I am going to, let's have a look, where can I go? Obviously, obviously Carly's already thought about this. Yeah, I really wanted to go there and then she goes. <laughs> you can still go, you just go up and me two lira. No! <laughs> Why would I do that? Whoa, what do I do? So what happens on the way, right? I'd have to pay seven. You have to pay seven lira to get a wheelbarrow extension. And... What about the rubies that are there? Because I can see rubies at the Wainwrights. So have let's have a look. We've got it in here, so we're going to have to quickly look at what happens at the Wainwright. So the Wainwright is the first one at the top. So it says, Please pay seven lira into the general supply to take a wheelbarrow extension from the Wainwright and place it in the wheelbarrow. As soon as you complete your wheelbarrow, i.e. once you have extended it for the third time, immediately you only want to take one ruby. Uh, uh, you only take those once. So you, you have can. to fill up your three gaps here. And then you can take it with me. So that's how the board looks. Stuff <laughs> the There's me, Dad, and Mum. Yep. And then our family members. So I'm, and then there's a government thingy, um, and then there's a mm -hmm. smuggler. And then everything so else. I'm going to yep. go one. I've encountered, so, um, so I moved my stack and I left one there. Right, I encounter, carry out the actions. 
So, um, so I've not encountered any other merchants, so that's phase two. Um, so I now carry out the other action, the action of the place, which yep. is to max out my yellow fruit, my pineapples, oranges, and bananas. Mm -hmm. So those are now max out. But there's also this guy here, which is the governor. You yep. don't have to. So the governor is there, and it's optional. So I can take one bonus card, discard one bonus card, or pay two lira. To get your bonus card, you or either roll the dice for his new location. No, no, no. So to get a bonus card, you have to either discard your bonus card or pay two lira. All right. Yeah. So let's have a look. So I can have a look at what my bonus card means. And I've got a card. And I have no idea what it means. So I'm going to look at it here without the others seeing it because I don't want them to know what I've got. Same. Hmm. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so I can pay two lira for another bonus card, mm -hmm. and I can get to keep this one as well. Yes, you can keep yeah. as many. All right, bonus so I'm going to take well. a bonus card. But don't just rightio, which is that action, and um, oh, and then now you roll the dice for his new location. Oh yeah, I have to roll the dice for for his new location, which is a nine. So how does that, does that, is that a four and a five? Yep, so this way. So he goes over to there now. So he's moved over to there. And now um, the bonus cards can be played at any time, but not between goes. On your turn, you play may play so. Uh, on your turn, you may play any number of bonus cards. Place every used or discard bonus card. When taking the bonus card, draw it from face down. But I shuffle the discard, you may keep any number of bonus cards in your hand. So, can we use it? When can we use it? Whenever you want, I think. That's where it says, look, on your turn, you may play any number of bonus cards. Okay. Um, so, just whenever, I think. Just whenever. Okay, I just need to know what that means. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's it. That, and so, that's the end of my turn. I'm two fruit up. <laughs> And to lure it down, and it's now your go. Thank you. <laughs> so is that zoomed in onto the board? Yeah, no, no, I did that. And okay. we're just I think we'll leave there. it zoomed into the board, and then it can hear us talking, but it can okay. see what we're doing on okay, the board. Okay, now you're going to be zoomed into the board in three, two. So what I want to do is I am going to from the fountain to the spice warehouse. Nice, because it's practically very safe. Mm -hmm. um, so, because yeah. yeah. I'm at the Spice Free House, I get full. Full green. Full green. Yeah. Oh. And there's nothing else. No, unless you want to use your bonus card or no, your bonus right. card. Right. Okay, oh, so it's I back to Mum's turn. Awesome. Stoom. Thing. Get pets. So, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go here. Do I need yours to take a walk? I'm going to max out my red. Good job. Everyone's maxed out at least something. And so I've encountered the smuggler. Okay, you may gain one good of your choice. If you do, either pay two lira or one good in return. So yep. what are you going to do? So I think I'm going to... So you say I can get a good of my choice, sorry. Yep, yep. You, you may gain one good of your choice, but to do so you would have to either pay two lira or exchange it for another good. Okay, so I'm going to get a blue. Yeah. And pay two And you're going to pay two lira. Was it two yep. lira? Yes, yep. it was. And then I have to roll the dice for his new location. Yeah. Yep. Four, three. Seven. 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 I thought it was four, three. No, seven. 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 Always oh. on the fountain. Oh, it's oh, on those numbers that we go, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. Your turn. So it's my turn. I know exactly what I'm doing now. I'm it? going to go one, <laughs> two. That's because mm. the merchant's not there. But, no, it's not. There is another reason as well. I'll show you. And you'll like this move. This is where it gets tactical. So, um, I will gain, 
Um, one red. Yep. Yeah. Um, one lira. Two lira. Oh, two lira and one yellow. Which but I can't really get another yellow. Mm -hmm. However, I am now going to play <laughs> that card. Which goes here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be playing that card. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'm just going to turn it around so we can show you. Okay, that card there. And that is a really good card for when you land on the post office because what it allows you to do is if you carry out the action at the post office, after completing the action, you can carry it out one more time. Ah. But that would move down, yeah, for doing that action. Yeah. So this time I would get one red, and I would get three lira, lira and another yellow, but I've got no room for my yellow. Yep. But I did get a lot of lira out of that move. Mm, that's good. And um, I think... I'm now going to also play another card because you can play as many bonus cards as you want. Any number of bonus cards. So I'm going to play this bonus card. And that basically means I can move any assistant of my choice back into my stack. So in the. Oh no, I can't use that one. Sorry. Because it says in the first phase of your turn. Oh, so you move this phase. Oh, <laughs> like Jacob knows what we're talking about here. He does. So um, that would therefore now end my turn. But I've now oh. got a stack of lira. So Rebecca's turn now. I need to look up what I'm going to do. Um, can you tell me what oh, You're miles away from this. I know. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Can you tell me what happens in the small market? So with the small market, so can you if you have so any of these goods... So if you've got two yellow, a red, a green, or a blue, you can sell any of those, and you can get the lira on yeah, here. Equivalent. So you have got two a, a green. Oh, no, two. no, you've got two green, so you'd only be able to sell one of the green, which and means you'd only lira. get two lira. Okay. If you had like a, if you had a red, a green, and two yellows, and you sold them, you that would be four. Lira. You'd get fourteen lira. So it's probably not worth doing it at the moment because you don't have enough goods. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and then I went okay then. Sorry, sorry, I didn't answer. Really. So, what happens here? Can you actually land it, or yes, you can. So, a small market. Not two things, really. Oh, whoops! Sorry, guys. <laughs> so you've got two green, yes. So you can use two green to pick up a moss tile. So you could pick up that first tile. Yeah. Yes. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm still learning, so don't judge me. We're all learning. So, what do you want to do? Well, you can come and pay me two lira. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay me. <laughs> what happens if you go to the police station? Uh, okay, at the police station, if your family member, which he is, is in the police station, you can free it and send it to another place. You then carry out the action of that place. Your family member does not have any encounter. Uh, while at the other place, your family member may be caught by other merchants and sent back to the police station. As a reward, the catcher player will get one bonus card or three lira. Mm -hmm. So if you go to here, you can then ch take your family member mm -hmm. and you can put him anywhere you want and then carry out that action. For example, like you could go to the black market and get a good and then roll for, for a blue like good Like any well. you want or do you have to have the stuff still? Yeah. That's what the black market's for. So you can get a good, so you can get a blue... Uh, so sorry, you can get a red, a green, or a yellow, and then you roll the dice, and if you get the seven, eight, nine, ten, or eleven, twelve, then you can get those blue items. Yeah, okay. that's right. Okay, I'm gonna move to the PlayStation. Okay. And I'm gonna move into the black market. Right. So you can choose whether you get a red, green, or yellow good. I'm gonna. You get... can't get green because you've got no more left. I know. So it's got to be either a red or a yellow. Where's your yellow tile? Yeah, where's your cube? Oh! She knocked it. Oh! 
I'm gonna stick there you go. with that now. I'm gonna take a red good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then throw the okay. dice over here. And then six. Oh, just short. Oh, you're short, not enough. Yeah, and your bonus enough. card doesn't help? You don't have a re-roll or anything on a bonus card? No. no. Okay, so now it's end of your go? Cool. Yep. Okay, so it's mum's so go. Close. <laughs> so close. Well, there's a got. Mm -hmm. So I think I am going to go here. And I'm going to spend my two red goods to get the most tile card. And so this one is the is it four one? You, you had four? Oh, say, so most, most tile. Um, there we go. So moss tiles. You got the which one? The red one. Yeah. Okay. At the tea house and the black market, you may turn one die to four after the roll, or re-roll both die. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But there's also a thing if you get both tiles. Um, so um, if you go to a small or great mosque and you take one moss tile to do so, your wheelbarrow must carry the goods that are depicted on the moss tile. Yep. yep. So I've just yep. took it back. Then the required quantities. Then pay one of the depicted goods. Oh. Only one. Good. So have you paid one of the depicted goods? Well, I had. But well, I paid two. So okay. Each moss tile provides a special. Product. You may only have one copy of each tile. Mm -hmm. As soon as you acquire both tiles of one mosque, immediately and only once take one ruby from the mosque. Oh. Okay, so that's your go. You're not yeah. going to play any bonus cards or anything like that. No. Right, so it's the phase one turn. So now I'm going to play that one. Yep. Which okay. basically <laughs> means I can pull back any of them. Any of them, and I'll pull him back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will then go. Somewhere. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, I will take him back. Um, where do I want to go? Think. You can go here. Yeah. Go here and pay me two lira. <laughs> Very good idea. You can go to no. the police station, play me two yeah. lira. <laughs> go back to the fountain and get your other guy back. If you I would. To. No, I would. Oh yeah, I would pay you two lira there. Um, <laughs> we go. To the fruit warehouse again, no, where you're going now. You go down to here. <laughs> I think if you have two bonus cards, you're allowed to pick up a card from there. Oh, you have zero, sorry, mate. <laughs> this is the phase where daddy forgets. So, he if I land on the Karan, Karan okay. this, sir. Yeah. Uh, what would I have to do? You I take two you bonus cards, you hand discard one bonus card, you know. No, we're taking bonus cards. Oh, I've got, but I've got one, I can't. Mm -hmm. I know it's scary, isn't it? Really? What does the fountain do? Gives you one of um, your other one. Is that all? Yeah. I can't see for the, for the light, it's so bright. Return any number of your assistants to your merchant stack. Ah, the battle is the only place where you don't need to have an assistant to carry out the actions. Right, okay, so I think I have to pay two there. Two yellow or two blue. Oh no, only one. Because, yeah, remember, I thought it was two, but you only paid one. Actually, I'll go there. No, this one you have to, yeah, yeah, pay, um, I have to pay two. So I get one of those, leave him there. Um, but I get it, but I don't use it. I don't have to use it, do I? No. So when I get to the mosque, take one moss tile. You see, do so, you will, must carry the goods that is depicted, which is two yellows, yes? Yeah, and you have to remove one. And I have to remove one, which just goes there. But to use that, I think, then pay one of the picked goods. Yeah, I see. And then 
once on my turn, I may to pay two lira to recover one of my assistants. Mm -hmm. Cool. So. Becca's turn. Yeah. Becca's turn, yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. I already know where I'm going. Good. Come and get right here. <laughs> Do that. Um, so. Do I move that down? No, no, no so you, you take one red, one you move one red, you have three lira and one yellow. One. Yep, that's it. And now you move it down. And now what do I move? Now, now you move, move that one down. Empty. There you go. And is that all you want to do? Right, you need to stack your money off there, okay, so together, because the way you're doing it at the moment, you're likely to knock your other things. Trying to yeah. grab it. See, like you've just done. Yeah, just, just, just push it all off. There yeah. you go. There you go. <laughs> cool. Right, so it's mom's go, and no, nobody yet has got any gems. Sadly. Not me, because I'm not playing. <laughs> okay, I'm playing now. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go down. You play Minecraft. You can't play now. You start. Mm. You carry on playing Minecraft, Jacob. I don't want to play Minecraft. Then you can go to your bedroom and tidy it and stay in it. I've already tidied it. <laughs> Too late. You want to play Minecraft? Play Minecraft. I'm gonna have some water. Okay, guys, we've got eight minutes left. So, um, is it my turn? No, it's still my turn. Well, I didn't have to be here for you to have your turn. Um. So I've gone to the tea house, and so I have to say a number between three and twelve. Is that right? And then I have to roll it. And if I roll it correctly, then... Yep, then roll both dice. If your roll equal to or greater than the announced number, take the announced number of lira from the general supply. So it's a risk. Okay. All right, well, then I'll go with three. Because then hopefully I'll roll greater than... <laughs> well, if you don't, you would still get two lira, I think. Yeah. If you roll equal to or greater than the announced number, take the announced number of lira from the general supply. Otherwise, only take two. So you could risk more you're still going to get two true okay i'll say seven seven okay so you got seven or more and you got eight wow, so you now eight. take seven wow mum why have you got all the money by you that's three. so dangerous <laughs> it's like monopoly where the bank has seven. all the money and never runs out i don't know why Twelve. right so you've and also i've got the governor um, the governor and so if you encounter the government, you may draw one bonus card from the face down stack and put it in your hand. If you do, you either have to pay two lira, <laughs> I mean you've got enough anyway, or discard one bonus card. Pay two lira. You have to, right. I don't know what this means. Why did you pull, get another bonus card? I didn't. This is my bonus card. What's that one? That's my bonus card. Oh, right. Okay. Right, so is my go? No. Now I have to roll the dice to move the governor. Oh, to move the governor. Two and two, two equals four. four. There. Right next to me! <laughs> cool. So it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I know what I'm going to do as well. Well, I think I think. Perhaps. What? That's no, I don't. Yeah, right. One. I knew you were going to do that. Yes, you have to do that. <laughs> right, so that's my movement. Um, so, and then I end. Um, and now it's the encounter. So I've encountered a family member. That comes last. So I carry out the phase first. So the phase would be I get one of those. Yep. So I'm going to go for blue. You can't. That is. Why not? Because it says. Yellow, green, and red. Oh, right, yes, yeah, yeah, no, blue. No, yeah, you're right. <laughs> what am I about? So I'll go for green. Yep. And then, then I throw the dice. dice. 
then I get three, which, which gives nothing. me nothing. I wanted a blue so badly. So did okay, I. Okay, so that's the end of that phase, and now I can go on to um, encounter. So if I encounter another merchant, if there are any other merchants at the title place, you, I have to pay them. That's not what I wanted no, to do. No, there's not a merchant, that's a family Oh, no, member. that's right, a family member. That's what I wanted to do. So, uh, all right, if there are other players' family members at the target place, you must catch them <laughs> and send them all to the police station, unless they're already there. As a reward for catching them, you may take one bonus card or three lira from the general supply for each family member. If you catch more than one family member, you may take a different or the same. So, send him <laughs> to there. And I can take a bonus. Or three lira, please. Thank you. And there endeth my go. My turn. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. One, two. Okay, then, um, so encounter. Um, and the oh, so the fountain. Can you read the fountain? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you've done your move? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do that uh, the action first, don't you? Then you do the encounters. I think that's right, yeah? So you're at the fountain and return any number of your assistants to your merchant stack. The fountain is the only place where you do not need to have an assistant. Uh, to have an assistant there to carry the action and you do not have to pay other merchants if they are present. If you send your family member to the fountain, your assistants are still returned to your merchant stack. Okay. Okay, so, so can I put all of them? Yep, there? you can. Mm -hmm. So you put them all under your stack. So that's where you'd go back to reset your stack. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and then I'm. Uh, sorry. Um, and then you're encountering the, the, smuggler. the smuggler. Okay, so you may gain one good of your choice. Yeah, if yeah. you do, you have to pay two lira or one good back to him. Just saying, I picked a blue when oh. I encountered him. I'm picking the blue too. Yeah. It's a good choice. Why? Because the blues are hard to come by. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, and okay. Then, and Thanks then, for letting me you know. What I'm going to do, so instead of... Alright, so are you paying? And I'm going to give him... <laughs> um, back... At the reason. Right, okay. okay. And then That's you have to roll the dice oh, yeah. to move them. Nine. Two. <laughs> oh, all right, Mum's turn. Before, um, oh, no, so we, I think we might have to stop it there because we're running out of battery. <laughs> but, all right, but it sounds so far like a really good, interesting game. Lots to it. Uh, lots of different options to do each turn, um, and a little bit strategic as well, which is good fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so guys, hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, we'll probably do it again. We've still got another game to do as well, which came with the, uh, yep. the board game. Stop. And we'll do that on another day. So from us here at Geek Bram, from Mummy Bram. So like, subscribe, leave any cool comments down below. I should mm -hmm. have my merchant token so you can see me. Rebecca <laughs> Bram. And like, subscribe, just like MC. <laughs> and here's my version. And I want to say, um, I'll say that, like, subscribe and everything again after we've finished. I told you. And from Daddy, Daddy Bram, Grumpy Bram, have fun watching our videos, like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Later. Next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>